Hello, 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 humanity. I'm back once again. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I, I am. I'm getting just a little bit more familiar uh, with the uh, with this recording uh, process. I uh, I figured that the uh, repetitiveness uh, would uh, help me, and it is, uh, in fact, as hard as it is uh, uh, to. Uh, to keep my hand uh, steady. But anyway, with that being said, uh, humanity, I um, I uh, made a, uh, I, uh, I've i been really, really delving into the, uh, the raw salads. And, uh, you know, ironic enough, you know, uh, there's supposed to be uh, a lot of probiotics. I really need to double check that too, humanity, because I don't know if the sauerkraut has to... Uh, there, uh, there's supposed to be a lot of uh, probiotics in sauerkraut, uh, but I have to check that to make sure that um, you know uh, that's not uh, only with it being fermented. You know, putting the uh, vinegar on it and putting it, uh, putting it in a jar or whatever other ingredients. But I think the uh, vinegar is the most uh, essential ingredient, uh, and putting it in a closed jar, and uh, you know. I think that's how you get your uh, fermentation of the, uh, uh uh-oh, there I go. Um, I think that's how you get your fermentation of the, um, of the, uh, pro, you know, from the uh, sauerkraut. Uh, but like I say, you know, um, so, uh, I, I was really under the impression, uh, humanity that, uh, you know, sauerkraut, uh, someone told me, that's why you have to check things out for yourself. Someone told me the sauerkraut tasted awful. I've really, uh, like I told you with the purple juice, I'm also trying to uh, implement as much, uh, I want probiotics uh, to be a daily, if not a daily, but at least uh, two or three times out of a week consumption. And so I'm uh, really, um, really testing, uh, testing out uh, putting sauerkraut in, in, in a lot of recipes. So, uh, today, uh, when I did the, uh, probiotic, uh, the burgers and the meatballs, and I like for everything, everything, uh, using the probiotics, um, uh, using the sauerkraut, it is really, really simple. I mean, I mean, unbelievably simple. I can't, um, uh, bring you the recipes in their totality now because you see the difficulty uh, that I'm having uh, in terms of holding my hands steady and just this whole recording thing but uh, it really uh, uh, it really is uh, good and then even even down to the raw aspect of the raw salads that I've been making and I've been also trying to include as much uh, probiotics in the raw salads as possible and uh, I was saying all that to say that uh, you know the sauerkraut once you blend it in at least so I found that uh, once you blend it in with various, uh, uh, with your various, um, with your various, uh, uh, you know, dishes and that, I found that, uh, wow, I didn't even know my hand was, uh, you can tell this is more than a notion, right? Uh, I didn't even, I, I mean, uh, I'm realizing that, um, you know, uh, it doesn't take from from the uh, flavor of your dishes the sauerkraut. Uh, you know, you can get that uh, get that added uh, probiotic uh, addition, and uh, it doesn't disrupt your flavor at all. Uh, so, uh, you know, today, uh, yesterday as well, I made a raw uh, salad. I included a lot of probiotics. I can't wait to share that with you. And even down to the burgers and the uh, meatballs that I did today, I was uh, very very. And very, very uh, conscious of getting uh, as much probiotics in the burgers and the uh, meatballs as possible. And that's not something that I usually do. And then a lot of you, uh, some of you have gut uh, gut problems. And they say that uh, those probiotics are really, really good for your gut health. Okay, uh, humanity, uh, my uh, joints are starting to hurt. So I need to get on with the next video. I'm, I am. I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting more familiar with it, so hopefully after maybe about two more videos, I, I should have it down pat. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I got my... Okay. Bye, humanity.